Morning folks, tramp in the hills here. Only thing is I'm not in the hills. Haven't been in the hills for weeks and weeks now. Uh, so tramp in the hills is a funny name. I'm, I should say I'm a, one or two feet above sea level here. Just dropped the wife off at work and uh, decided to spend the day at Hatfield Moors Nature Reserve. It's part of the uh, Humberhead Peatlands Nature National Nature Reserve. It's a huge area. I'm going to spend all day here having a look around. I'm going to do a bird list, see how many birds I see. That's a wet, grey February day, so I probably won't see too many. So uh, I'll take you along, show you a few of the sites around the reserve. Just come down to the first bird hide. I'll sit here for a little while and get me list started. Right, we've come to one of these viewing platforms. Looking out across the mire. This hasn't been here very long. But down here, they've tried reconstructing an old trackway made out of old birch trees. Uh, now, uh, there is one way over that way somewhere I've never seen, found it an original one from Neolithic times or something like that I don't know well I've never found it just out there on a little mound there's a crash site of an aeroplane so I'm gonna take you out there next uh, it's uh, Vickers Wellington the crew were returning for an operational flight in Cologne in 1941. Sadly, four members of the Polish crew died as a result of the accident. A memorial on the site stands today. So we'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, it's just out there. It's a bit tricky to get to. Sure, I can do it. Here we have the old crash site. Four Polish chaps died that night, September 1941. Uh, two survived, I believe. Yeah, there's a few old remnants of the, the old aeroplane here. No doubt there's a few more buried in the peat over there. area, well Lindholm Airfield is over there, or was Lindholm Airfield. Uh, and this area is supposed to be haunted now. Lindholm Willie they call him, this ghost. Lindholm Willie. Watch out for Lindholm Willie. Right, make your way back down there to the main path. 
glad I came to see this. Well, really enjoying this. Due my old bird list has not grown very quick. I'm only up to 19 species so far. Thinking back to birds, I had one of my best wildlife moments I've ever had along this path a few years back. I was walking along here and I stopped suddenly three, four foot in front of me sat a tawny owl. I stood here talking to it for a minute or two, you know, like you do, asking it if it was alright. I thought it must be injured. I took a step towards it, I didn't move. I took a step towards it, it didn't move. It was right there. I could have bent down and touched it. Oh, sort of got down a bit like this and it flew up onto this perch here one of these fence posts and I stood here talking to it and then I went to touch it and it flew off into the tree there and just sat there watching me for about 10 minutes never forget that beautiful tawny owl Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. There's somebody coming. That's it. We're back. Nine miles that was. Bloody brilliant. Just got back to the car park here. Yeah, I'll catch 75 cars in the car park. Normally you'd come here and there might be three or four cars in the car park. World's gone mad. Everybody's gone walking mad, haven't they? Get back to normal, I say. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to finish my flask off here before I get home. Oh, bloody good walk, that. I hope you enjoyed it, did you? Just looking at my bird list, so I only finished on 22 birds. Magpie, wood pigeon, lesser black backed gull, carrion crow, coot, little grebe, widgeon, Canada goose, blue tit, mallard, moorhen, great tit, reed bunting, blackbird, tufted duck, cold tit, black headed gull, shell duck, grey leg goose, lapwing, robin, and jackdaw. All common birds that you'd expect to see on any walk. Where were the marsh harriers? Where were the bitterns? Never mind. Maybe next time, eh? Right. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Like the like. The subscribe button is just down here. And the like button. So I'll see you next time then, alright? See you later, mate.